Hey guys, it's Sukiko here, and today we're going to talk about a really cool um, mod called the Awesome Teleporter and Awesome Spyglass. Uh, these are both separate mods, but I do believe they're made by the same developer because of the similarity in name. Um, so the Awesome Teleporter is great for getting around to locations. Um, if if you pull up your Ingram menu, go to Ingrams, you just type in awesome. There's the spyglass. You can learn that. Sometimes it's a little my thing's a little wonky. There we go. So what you're gonna want is the awesome teleporter and awesome teleporter remote and the awesome dino dino tracker. Um so what the remote does is you just have it in your hotbar and you can use it to take it to any teleporter pad that's public or belongs to your tribe. Uh, the awesome dino tracker is great because you feed this to your dino and it puts like a tracking device onto it and you can teleport that dino to you no matter where you are within server um, server settings. So if your server settings doesn't allow you to bring your dinos into boss rooms, then there that might be the issue and you might want to contact your server owner to see if you are allowed to do that if they have this mod. Um, so what you want is, actually I already have one made and on me, it is on my hotbar number six so that will bring me the remote. So here we have multiple different areas that I can go to. The obelisks are usually default. I cannot, it does not tell you which color they are, but you just pick one and hopefully it's the right one. Unless you know the chords by heart, then kudos to you, I do not. <laughs> Um, so, with that in mind, we, if I were to click, click Event Boss Arena, it will pop up a little bubble for me, and it will take me there. Pretty simple. Now, the nice part about this is, if you clicked in a spot that you didn't really want to go to, and you want to go back to what you originally want, you originally were, you just uh, left click again and it goes to the last remote location you just click that and it will take you back um, now it is very very important um, that you have your remote on you at all times and in your hotbar it doesn't matter where in your hotbar just as long as it's in your hotbar because if your server settings allow it, you can go to and retrieve your corpse. So if you died, you get your stuff back. So let's see. Uh, I can do an example of this. Let me just go find something to eat me. And it would be so much better if I'm flying. So let me get all out my old girl Sophia here. And I have put no nothing but points into flying into this girl. So she is very fast. Um, I know there's usually Trodons around here somewhere. Those usually, oh, oh, there's a Colonel. That will work. It might take a minute for him to kill me because... Oh, I don't want my armor to get ruined, so let me take off my armor. And let's go get eaten. Hello, Mr. Carno. Will you eat me today? Aw, you're 142. Oh, look at this guy. He's so cute. I do like Carnos. Maybe I'll start breeding him one, one of these days. Yeah, this might take a while. I have 1,200 health. He's doing a good job. He's almost there. There we go. 
Atta boy. What a good kernel. Okay, so I was just eating. And I'm going to respawn at my bed. I'm going to wake up in my bed. And now all I got to do is go right back to the awesome teleporter pad. Retrieve corpse. And let's open up. Voila. Oop, not the gas mask. I don't need the gas mask. Just put my all my gear back on and that's it. Alright, so that's a very convenient feature. Um, depending on your server, they can limit that, but it's a nice feature of the mod. And I, it's very convenient. Um, now, let's say I were to take my beloved Waverin. And I'm just going to take her away over here. And I am going to teleport just her to the obelisk. Okay, there it goes. I have a little bit of lag. That's all right. There she goes. Oh my, now I lost my wavering. I don't know what to do. Oh, let's see. What can I do? What can I do? Oh yeah, I got my remote on me. I'm going to right click and bring her back. That is because I fed her one of the dino trackers. If I were to hop on her, if you notice the icon in the right hand corner above her health, there's a dino tracker icon. That means that I can teleport her to me wherever she is. So if I ever lose her, I can always get her back unless she dies. Please don't die. I love you. Alright, so that's pretty much the gist of the awesome teleporters. Um, oh, where'd it go? Oh no, I lost my teleporter. There it is. Okay. Um, and you can also teleport from the teleporter itself as well. So if you're, if you're at like a community center, um, if your server has one of those, and you're just just start it out you can just go to a teleporter and teleport around if you need to um you don't need a remote to use it as long as it's public um now another neat feature is i've been avoiding using this this whole entire video the awesome spyglass it gives you your cords it if you look at structure, it'll tell you all the structures and stuff like that, who it belongs to, the health, and dinos. So let me go to my breeding project area. Don't mind the mess, it is a complete disaster down there. It will show me my stats of my dino. So here I am ble breeding um, my dinos. I'm a little bit crazy with them. I'm trying to do every stat 254 um, points. And the point system is much easier to figure out than the um, doing it the other way. I don't, I don't even know the other way, to be honest. But because I've always used Awesome Spyglass when I started breeding. Um, so the point system, the higher the points, the better the dino is going to be. Uh, the max point is 255, technically. But you want to go to 254, because if you go to 255, you can't put any more points as you're leveling into that dino. Um, in that area that it's maxed out at. So if you do 254, you can still put into points on that dino. But that's that's a whole other video for breeding, yada yada. But it will tell you all the stats um, and give you like a measurement. 
And this is the new feature on it, which makes this a whole lot better, is they give you the color regions. Um, I really do like that. I didn't think it was necessary, but now that I've been using it a lot more, I can see where the colors are and where I want the colors to be um, in the future is going to be great. Um, if I pull out Demona, she is my favorite Dino right as of right now. She's not complete yet, but I always thought she had red, red feathers. But if I go to different maps, she has orange feathers. So now this tells me that she actually does have orange feathers. And I'm actually very disappointed about that because I like red, not orange. Red and black are my favorite colors and it was it's a little disappointing that for me that, that they're orange and not red. So I will have to be either mutating red into my Danos or I'm going to have to find a Dino with true red in their feathers and breed that in. So, and we're going to go ahead and put her back. Um, so I always usually have this awesome spyglass running at all times because it's nice. You can see, like, uh, if you see enemy dinos, they have a red outline or if they're aggroed onto you. Uh, green is if they belong to you or the, if they're friendly. Um, yeah, actually, I think it's more or less they belong to you. But if I were to go out, let me bring out good old Safira here. And I like the crosshair kind of marker it's got to it. That way you can really target the dino that you want to look at. See, white means that they're not aggro to you, but they're wild and they're out there. They'll turn red as soon as they do aggro to you, though. Like this little guy here. See, now he's he's mad at me. He, I, I didn't even do anything to him. But, yeah, he's mad at me now. So, they turn red. Um, now, if you go to someone else's base and they have dinos out, they will also appear red. Um, but if you're on a PvE server, don't worry, they won't attack you. It's still PvE. Uh, my base is trying to load in. And, yeah. So, those are those two mods. Um, there's really not much to the Awesome Spyglass except for that feature. just soap all her out and we will conclude this video you all have a great day and have fun bye